Welcome back for another video in our tutorial series for NeuroVisual Trainer. Uh, this video I'm actually really excited to share with you. This new feature that I'm going to demonstrate uh, honestly is has revolutionized our practice in a lot of ways. It's made training easier. It's made assigning activities easier. It's been something you know we've been asking the team to you know to implement for some time, and it's been a lot of work for them to do it. And uh, you know, just really excited to share with you all how uh, how we utilize this this newest uh, update to the NeuroVisual Trainer software. So overall, what we're going to be going through are the ability to add activity sets and activity schedules. So what are those? I guess generally we might think of them as sets would be groups of activities um, that are kind of similarly linked that you often prescribe um, together. And schedules are creation of grids or you know, a sequence of weeks of activities that you can put together for your patients. A little bit more of a sort of set it and forget it type approach, which is very modifiable, but a really great way to ensure that at the start, certain groups of diagnoses are managed in similar ways. Um, as I alluded to, in particular, if you have someone newer who's starting, it gives them the framework, which uh, they can modify uh, based on, on results. So I'll share my screen here and uh, demonstrate uh, exactly what it is that I'm talking about. So within the software here, uh, the newest feature here is in an area called grids. So you're going to click on grids, which I already have up. And between these, there's the two different new features. The first, which we mentioned, was a set. Now, when would you use set? What sort of problems does this help to solve? Sets we view as, as we mentioned, groups of similar activities that you tend to prescribe um, as, uh, as, as sort of a collection. So I'll give you an example. If we wanted to create you know, a, a vergence level one set, which is you know, kind of going to be a combination of maybe a Brock string and some PFE, NFE work, what you can do is you can create this newest set and start adding the activities that fit within this group. So as you know, within the software, there's video exercises and there's interactive exercises. So we'll initially add the video exercise. So I mentioned we were gonna add a Brock string and you can add some special instructions if you want. Uh, you don't necessarily have to. We're gonna save that to our set. Now, typically we like to do this um, by also combining some positive fusional virgins, negative fusional via some of the Randot uh, availability on the software. So we're going to add our interactive exercise here where we'll come down and add, say our, we want to do Randot base out. And let's say we generally like to do it at a minute. You can do some of these advanced setting changes based on um, your client base or, or the particular sequence that you're wanting to put together. And we're going to save that. And now we're gonna, let's say we wanted to add some base in uh, to complement that, we'll do that for another two minutes. And again, these are all modifiable within the set and you've put it together. So you've got a sequence here. So you could do it for increasing difficulty. We've got a virgins level one, a level two, a level three. Uh, you could build sequences together that work for your client base. Uh, an area we like it for is for maintenance. You know, a lot of times we give somewhat similar maintenance for different uh, for categories of diagnoses so you could create a maintenance for people who'd been through you know a particular grid or had a particular diagnosis and it becomes easy for the vision therapists because they can quickly just add the level of maintenance or the virgin sequence that they're wanting the patient to go through so we're going to save the set this is the first set I've created. Now you'll get a list of these sets as you create more, but let's say that's the first one that you're going to use. From here, if you go into uh, the client or the patient here, you can now assign them. You could either assign them manual, which is you know just one activity at a time, or you could assign them this set that you just created. And in our case, it was that Virgins level one which was our, our, uh, our set here. You could add special instructions. Maybe you wanted to modify a few things. You can enter that in here, which will show up for the patient. And you're gonna save these exercises. So now that you save these exercises uh, to this client, you're gonna go into their file and you'll see 
they've been assigned all three of those activities. So you click it once and they've got the full set available to them. It just makes organizing and uh, sending activities simpler, uh, in particular in the area of sending groups of activities. Now, if you did wanna modify this particular set, this is one of the things we love. Let's say you've decided that you wanted to, you know, Virgin's level one, I'd like to do some uh, base in and out. I'd like to add a little bit more to that. I wanna do some flexibility. So I'm gonna add an interactive exercise. We'll come down, we're gonna do some uh, jump virgins, some base, base in and out. I wanna add all of those. So we're updating our set. Now you can save that just for your, you know, the categorized set, or you can save it and it will update all of the patients who are currently working on that set. So we're gonna update it for all the patients who have Virgins level one. We're now gonna be adding that new level. Now you don't have to update it for all patients, but it's a great way if you're not sure who's doing Virgins level one, but you've decided you wanna up it a little bit or take it down a little bit, you don't have to go through each and every patient to change it. So these sets are a wonderful way to group similar activities that you tend to prescribe um, you know, together. So sets are a really nice addition. Schedules, this to me, this is one of the revolutionary uh, tools that have been added. Many vision therapy clinics you know, will have somewhat of a grid or a general approach to managing certain, um, certain conditions. Of course, we all change and modify based on the presentation. Uh, but when someone's learning or you have, um, you know, you want to create a little bit of structure, it is very, very valuable to have a schedule or a grid available for training and for, I mean, get, getting the process started in a similar way. It also makes it easier if clients are, are working between different team members. So how does a schedule work? Really, really nice user interface here. You can see here with this schedule, what you're doing is initially it'll be defaulted to you know a five week sequence, but you can add more, you can add six, you can add seven, you can go up to whatever your particular grid length is. And let's say we wanna call this our, our, our grid one, and it's going to be a you know basic visual skills. That's what our, our initial kind of grid is going to be. So you're going to be adding in your exercises that you use for basic visual skills. So if I, for example, wanted to start with, let's say we want to do, you know, in, in a lot of uh, programs, you're going to start with some peripheral awareness. So let's say we've got our peripheral awareness card. We want to put a video exercise for it. Again, you can have special instructions about it if you would like. You're going to save it and it's going to add that to week one. Let's say we want to add, you know, what's an, another common one, I suppose, you know, a near far heart chart, something that you might be doing earlier with uh, with your cases. Again, special, special instructions. We're going to add that here. So we've got two video activities. And let's say that we also do a, an interactive activity with a lot of clients in their in their first uh, first block. You're going to add um, something I suppose that we would use pretty commonly at the start might be the central peripheral awareness game, uh, which I've done a video on uh, that the program has. Again, you can modify the customize, you know, what level, how long you want them to do, whether you want them to be wearing anaglyph glasses, which we typically do. So you're going to save that. So you can add, of course, many more, but for just for demonstration's sake, I'll have the three. Now, what I love about this is Central peripheral awareness card, often you want to do that for a few weeks. So you can slide it over and this will pre-program the grid so that the first three weeks, it's going to be assigning them this activity. And let's say I'd like to do the central peripheral awareness game for a similar length of time. You can drag it over to, to week three. Near far heart chart, let's say I only want to do that for two weeks. I'm going to slide that over, but in week three, I want to add something, you know, maybe a little bit more challenging as far as the, uh, the heart chart is concerned. So we would go into our, you know, um, maybe, maybe we're going to want to move into an anaglyph heart chart or something to that effect. You could have different, uh, different ways that you want to do it. Heart chart level one, level two, you can pick what you want uh, to go here. And now that is going to move into this week three block here. So you've set up a sequence of those first three weeks that is going to be auto sent and auto generated um, and updated for the patients that you that you assign it to. So to show you how that works, I'll save this schedule. We've got our new grid one that I've just created. 
Going back into our client base, if I did want to assign those activities, again, we're gonna, we can either assign these sets, which we showed before with the virgins, but I actually wanna do a schedule now. So the only grid I have available is this basic visual skills one. So now they're gonna be set for however long you set your schedule. We do a lot of programs in you know, 15, 20, uh, 20 week blocks. So we might send them that first 20 weeks and it's gonna assign them in sequence based on when they're enrolled. Now you might think, you know what, I need to change it here and there for individual clients, not a big deal. For this person, let's say I wanna customize it and say, you know what, this is a little early to do the anaglyph heart chart. I actually don't wanna do that till week five. You'll go ahead and move that over, the rest remains the same and you save it. So once you save this for, you know, for the client or the patient, it's now going to auto assign these activities. This was week one. So as you can see, these random special instructions that I have there, but it's now week one is gonna have the activities that you wanted, the videos that you wanted. It's gonna have the um, interactive exercises that you want. And then for the following week, it's gonna automatically move to um, the next activities. Now, as I mentioned to you there, it's not that you can't modify it on the fly. It's very, very easy to modify it on the fly. But getting that initial sort of um, organization for us is, as I said at the start, it's revolutionary. One of the things that you find is sometimes at the end of the session, you know, you'll assign a few interactive exercises, but you might forget to send a video or you might forget to send certain things. This is going to ensure consistency of your vision therapy programs and it's going to make it cleaner and easier for training. It's going to make it cleaner and easier for organization. And ultimately, if you have, you know, a vision therapy team that is uh, able to operate more efficiently, uh, your patients and your clients are going to feel that they're going to feel like this is a nice organized system. And if we do have to switch between team members, uh, everything is running along a, a nice organized fashion. So this was a quick video, but as you can see, it's user-friendly. I was able to demonstrate a lot of the features in a handful of minutes. Feel free to play around with it, share any feedback that you have, but we've been, uh, we've been blown away and extremely, extremely excited to, to utilize this, uh, this update with, within our clinic.